don't be a little bitch. Don't be a little bitch. So here we are in Vegas Pro 16 and the project to the left here is the video you just watched at the beginning. So over to the right, I have all the raw footage. So of course, first thing is have your footage, record it however you want to. I don't mind on a tripod, it doesn't have to be on a tripod. Um, and then what you wanna do is find the part where you basically want the sad part to start. So what I did, I opened the book and I just left it for a few seconds and then I press S on my keyboard to split it right here. Now at this part, this is where I added the um, other part or the other camera angle showing the book. Now this is completely optional if you wanna show what you're sad about or if you even need to. So that part is optional, I'm not gonna add it in just now. And then we go on to the sad part. So if the good thing is if you do switch camera angles, then you can also cut part of the video. So for example here, and it will just look natural when you go back to it after showing another camera angle. So um, playing it through, of course, this is where the sad scene has now started. And let's get to it. So the first thing I add on is going to be the um, black and white. Now with the black and white, I'm not sure if you noticed, it actually faded in. It didn't instantly just go black and white. So to do that, head over to video effects and from here, select black and white. And I added on the 100% black and white. Of course, you can experiment if you want to use the others. Drag and drop. And then I toggled the animation by selecting this button. Now, all I'd done was have a sync cursor to media timeline highlighted, come across over here. Then I'm going to lay down a keyframe by selecting this green button, which says add keyframe. Then on that first keyframe, we're going to turn it all the way low. Then also on this first keyframe, there's, um, circle you're seeing here, right click it, then you get different options of how you want the black and white to come in. Uh, me personally, I do think a smooth fade or a slow fade will be most appropriate. You can experiment if you want to. So I'm gonna select smooth fade. This is the line we'll get. And if I just play that part through now, there we go. So now the keyframes are sorted out. I'm not sure why they all got mixed up. So if we play that through, you'll notice the black and white fades in like that. In my opinion, that looks a lot better than just having it instantly go black and white. Now what I'm gonna do is add in that other picture, which actually shows what I was sad about, which was the book, of course, saying little bitch. And so this is now what we have. It cuts back, then it goes back to this part. So the other thing I done, which was overlaid the it, this image right here. So press control C if, if it's a video, if it's an image, and then anywhere on the timeline, just press control V and that will then just paste it in. So what I done was added a fade in, fade out, and also a lowered the opacity. Another thing I done, because it's not 100% clear what I'm sad about, it shows the entire book, is I focused on what it, what the purpose was. So I'm gonna go back to the pan crop on this. I'm gonna uncheck sync to cursor, select the first keyframe, and I'm simply gonna zoom in to that quote. Bear in mind that quote wasn't real in the book. I actually used Photoshop to do it. So you can see there's the actual right one there. Numbers don't lie. So I've just got that wrong. Here we go. And then I changed it of course to don't be a little bitch. So just adding on the fades and of course lowering the opacity. This is now what we get. So you can see it's pretty nice effect just adding that over. Now in terms of sound effects or music itself, I believe the main thing to make a sad effect work is the type of music you used. For example, I put happy music at the beginning, of course, just to set the mood, everything's all good. Then in the middle, I put where he said, don't be a little bitch. Then I started some piano music. Piano, of course, most of them are the sad music. Now, another thing I done, so I just take this audio here. So this is gonna say, don't be a little bitch. Now what I done is press control C and I also played it back when I displayed the image again. However, this time I added an echo to this um, specific one here. So what you're gonna do is select the effects button. Then from here, you wanna look for reverb, select okay. 
then the one I recommend is Cathedral. Now you can play around and see whatever is best for you, but if I play this through, don't be a little bitch. You can see that's now what you get. Now another thing I done, I also lowered the volume of this second time playing back, just so it's playing in the background. Don't be a little bitch. So it was like that. And then of course was adding on the sad music, just to drag it in. Uh, for those wondering, the song I used, it was I Will Return Skylar Grey. It was actually a piano cover. Um, hopefully I don't get copyrighted. If I do, oh well. So then you just time it up. I'm playing it through now. And of course, that's when it ends before I get up. There's one more thing I'm going to show you, which I almost forgot, which is the zooming in part into yourself. So you go to the pan and crop. Bear in mind, split out the section that you want to be zoomed in. So for example, this section is alone here, so I can just zoom in on here. And generally, I like to have the zoom go in the entire duration. So all the way to the end, it's going to be zooming in. Alternatively, you can say take five seconds and then the rest will just stay where it is. But I'm going to make it do all the way. So I'm going to zoom in to the section that I want it to be focused on, which is going to be my face. I'm then going to right click the first keyframe and change it to slow. I'm going to X out of it and we can play it through. This is now what we've just created. Don't be a little bitch. Don't be a little bitch. So you can see that is what it created. Just adding that zoom makes a big, big difference and I do recommend you add it as well. But that is it. That is how you create a sad effect in Vegas Pro 16. If there's anything else you recommend to add for a sad effect in Vegas Pro 16, let me know in the comments below because it will also help out a lot of other people as well.